Fred, in these uh, hot days of uh, Sao Paulo, what do you expect for this race? Um, I think this race, first of all, I expect enthusiasm because I'm, I'm, I'm happy and I think the full team is happy to go back to track. Uh, it has been a long period without racing and then uh, it, it, it's always long when you are in the factory and then you wait for the next race and it was particularly long but on the other side it gave us the opportunity to uh, get the team together a bit more because we have a lot of new members and then those six weeks have been quite fruitful on helping pushing new ideas and maybe developing the car in different ways than we did in the past. So what I expect is definitely some better racing for us, uh, hopefully a better quali. Uh, able to get uh, higher in the ranking after quali is, is very important for us. We have seen that in the first two events we were able to manage quite a access, acceptable pace in racing and, and, and that was good uh, and helping the drivers to come back uh, in the overall ranking at the end of the race in, in a decent position. Even Eduardo ended up P11 in the last one. but. Definitely, we started too far from the, the, the top 10 position after quali, so we need to get closer to those, that top 10 in quali. And then if we manage to do the same type of racing, probably getting two points. So that's, that's definitely the goal uh, from Sao Paulo onwards. Uh, maybe here will be the first one, so we'll see how we can manage that properly. But for the next races, that's the goal for now until the end of the season, score points. We know that uh, in Formula E it's not possible to touch anything in uh, hardware, but of course in software it's always uh, in, in job for, for the team. Uh, in, in the things that you can see in the simulator, what you can, uh, you can say if that's, that's made some uh, advance in the, in the develop of the car, because we know, in, uh, it's not a mysterious, that Mahindra have a very big problems in this, this year, these years. Yeah, I think it's it's challenge we we face. We don't have problems because the reliability is there, and and and, and we can race. The, the 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 difficulty we face are more on how to make sure that we exploit the potential of the car in the best possible way. Um, maybe we have some limitations, but we can go around some of those limitations by uh, exploiting the car and the team management in general with the strategy in racing, with the way to deal with the car in the box plus the driver's improvement also into the, the, the way we drive the car and what we bring. That, that helps us to maybe go a little bit around the challenges we face. But definitely we have some weaknesses which we cannot compensate, not being able to change the hardware uh, last season and this season. But we, we have a lot of ideas around software, as you mentioned, so improve, find new ideas, find new ways and, and potentially get a bit more uh, performance out of the car. I think that's, that's what has been done the last six weeks, focusing on, on this side. And, and the second thing is that we have two strong drivers with a lot of experience, and that helps a lot on, on the way they, they deal with the racing side, because they, they, they know and they have the tricks, they have the understanding of racing with the Formula E. And, and uh, having Edo for sure, he has also the experience of Gen 3. Nick has a bit less of experience with Gen 3, but still, he has so huge and so big in, in experience in, in Formula E in general that at the end, we, that's probably our main strength right now, is that having that experience is helping a lot, finding maybe some of some, some better directions in the way we develop the car, and on the other side, get the maximum out of the car when we are on track. So the only thing we need to make sure is that we give them the best possible tool, and that we do no mistake in the way we prepare the race, in the way we execute the race, and in the strategy we decide during the race. So that's definitely where we have to focus right now. Not to make any mistakes, because we are limited, but if we do no mistake, we can be in a decent position.